What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm gonna do an unboxing video, I guess. I'm wrapping to upgrade the shitty Wi Fi on my Dell Inspiron 1545. Once again, I'm using my flip for audio just because it records better and because now if Sony Vegas 11, why not? Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and un unbox the or unwrap the the not so great stuff first, exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Amazon order. Thanks for your five star purchase. Whoop to do. Gotlux.com. It's that super sticky stuff again. And here's my invoice. I'm gonna put that away. And here's my antennas. Nicely bubble wrapped. These are Tyco antennas. Here's some model numbers and stuff. Let's go ahead and box it first. It's very nice. I am only going to be using one of these, so I might sell the other one. Just give me like $2 cash and PM me. There we go. White and black. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. It's a Intel 5300 uh, half mini PCIe or half PCIe or mini half. It's for laptops, a PCIe for laptops. For laptops. What's inside? No, no invoice. It's just a Wi-Fi card. And here it is. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Let's go ahead and open it from this anti-static packaging. That is really neat. How they wrap this. I like it. Here it is. Actually, I shouldn't be showing you this. The MAC address is somewhere on here. It's covered up on the front. But here it is. And there's three antennas. The Dell only has two antennas, so I'm going to be installing one. And this will be it for the unboxing. So I'm going to go ahead and um, open this guys for you because y'all are so special. See what's inside the 5300 series Intel Wi-Fi. Take off this um, shield. Oh great. There's another shield under it. And that's actually soldered onto the thing. You know what? I'm gonna take this off too, cause I'm awesome. Or not? I can't. Oh well. So we'll go ahead and turn this on and run some speed tests. Now while this boots up, I'm gonna have my little rant about Dell. <clears throat> this laptop cost me five hundred dollars. Five hundred, and um. It didn't have wi wireless in. It didn't have gigabit Ethernet. It doesn't have DDR3 RAM. It has a shitty webcam. What else? Basically everything about it. The speakers aren't that great. The battery's not that great. The screen viewing angles are horrible. I mean, they're horrible. From side to side view, the side to side viewing angles are all right. The top and bottom are just horrible. Um, what else? The seven and one card reader can only read like three cards, XD or MMC, SD, and memory stick. That's about it. I don't know how they got seven. Um, like okay, it costs five hundred dollars, and you get all that shitty feature, all those shitty features, and and they're not even name brands. They're not name brand PC components. Um, and you can buy like a Toshiba or maybe an HP 
and you get name brand components with for the same price. I mean, you can tell I'm using Logitech's flagship mouse, the Performance MX. I was using the Logitech flagship webcam, the C910. They have the C920 now. There's really no difference. I'm using aftermarket Altec Lansing speakers. I mean, even these shitty speakers, well, not they're, they're not that shitty. They're greater than the Dell speak, speakers by far. Well, obviously, but still. Um, What else? There's a lot going on. The keyboard's actually alright. I just hate reaching over, reaching and typing up there while your palm touches the stupid touchpad and it moves. And the touchpad has minds of its own. I'm, I promise you it does. Alright, I'll go ahead and enter my password. Holding the flip in one hand while talking is kind of weird because I'm using this for mics again. Alright. 7 Ultimate. I have a lot more about the Dell, which I haven't said yet. Oh, this Dell is like the Chrysler of um, computers. I They look nice, but they're shit. They're pure shit. And what I mean by Chrysler is Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge, the car company. Uh, here is the uh, sticker price for the vehicle with all the options and with the destination charge, a little over $37,000. Uh, you know, not your cheap uh, uh, base uh, model SUV. Right here you can see it fits uh, pretty flush for the most part. It kind of sticks out a little bit, but for the most part it's flush. However, when you go on the other side, as you can see, it sticks out much further. And you can actually push it in. And when you do that, the whole bumper moves. And now this side's popped out. And you can kind of go back and forth and play this game all day. And this is our lemon. Chrysler leased me this vehicle in 2007. It's a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. I have been to the dealership 15 times for problems with the doors and for problems with now the car stalling. Right, Ev? Yep. Just kind of dies when you drive, doesn't it? No warning, and, no nothing, right? And the cars, the, um, and the doors, the opening and closing all by itself. Yeah, it's right. They open and close all by itself. Chrysler doesn't care about my kids. There's no other way to describe it. Please help my family get out of this car. <clears throat> this laptop I bought in 2010, it didn't have DDR3 RAM. That's, that's really weird. DDR3 came out in like 2007 or 2006, around there didn't have wireless in I mean I already went through all this stuff that I complained about there's more but I can't remember Wi-Fi keyboard uh, viewing angles da, 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 da. oh the layout the layout of this webcam I mean this <clears throat> this laptop is horrible I mean your Kings, Kingsington, Kensington lock is right next to the power cord. Power cord is right next to two USB ports. They're double stacked. So you can't fit really anything but like a Bluetooth receiver or a micro receiver. A VGA port is nothing special. The Ethernet is only a hundred megabit. Alright. And on the other side they could definitely fit a double stack USB port on that side and swap it. It would be way better. But nope, they Clustered up all that stupid shit right there. And the CD drive. That's another thing. My computer's done booting up now, but I'll show you the CD drive. And I'll let you hear it too with this web with this flip. There's no um pause break button on the laptop. Instead there's an eject button. Now let me open up for you and I'll let you hear it. I'm not put I swear I'm not putting any pressure on it. It's scraping against the the wood. That's not the sliding tray. You t 
take take the laptop and flip it over. It's all dusty under there. It's the CD drive won't come out without like you bending it. Anyways, now that it's booted up, I'm gonna go ahead and run some speed test. Yeah, the Wi-Fi. Sh I mean, everything. Wi-Fi shitty and all that. I mean, every, the things that are shitty, I had app replacement parts for it, like this Netgear WNA3100. 30, I've had this for a while, and Netgear st is still making this one. It's pretty neat. We'll have a focus here. You get the point, kind of. Not going to waste your time anymore. Alright, let's go to speedtest.net. My favorite speed test site, speed testing site. I mean, if my IP had just never changed, I would have at least a thousand speed tests done. This is with the stock. Whoa, why? Is, what is that? Oh, this is with the stock. Um, why is it doing that? This is with the stock Wi-Fi card. All right, I don't know why it keeps opening up my bookmarks. Great, just great. The hard drive is actually all right. It's from Western Digital. That's like the only name brand part they use. The LCD is bit made by AUO Optronics Corp or something like that. The Wi-Fi is made by Dell. I think De I think the uh. Even though it's made by Dell, I think the chip is made by Broadcom, I think. Broadcom is alright. Why does it keep... Fuck. Firefox is being gay now. Let's go to speed test time. Oh, shit. That's why. My webcam was on the stupid keyboard. So it wouldn't let me go. There we go. Alright, finally. After this, I'm going to do an Ethernet test, Ethernet speed test. My, the fastest one so far i found that, that's near Mississippi is the Memphis server. It's hosted by Comcast, so... Alright, and you can see it do its speed test. 20 millisecond pings, that's alright. See, every single time, 18 megabits, mega, megabits per second. And my upload's about three point like four or something. Or three. Three point four, three point five around there. So that's not I'm gonna run it again while I plug this in. It's just a minute. Just to show you, it's 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 the wireless um G that's maxed out. Eighteen megabits per second again. And then see it's around 18. You go to Windows Task Manager. The Wi-Fi doesn't doesn't even reach 50% over there. All right, I'm gonna plug this in and turn off my turn off my um, stock Wi-Fi. Disconnect. Refresh this page. Sorry, this is taking so long. This is just proving a point how shitty this webcam is. I mean, why do I keep saying webcam? Laptop. All right, and start it. I have to reset the page again. Begin test. You know what? I might put this at the end of the video. And this is with the Netgear um, wireless card. See that? 23. It maxed out at 23, 24 megabits per second. I'll do it again. Upload really doesn't change at all. Do it again, just to prove a point. 
see that net gear working hard over there. There we go again. It's now maxed out at 18 like the Wi-Fi, the stock Wi-Fi. That's my actual internet speed. It can go way faster. It's actually connected at um 150, 145 megabits per second right now. I have a 300 megabit per second router. I have it set on neighborhood friendly mode. It's not on maximum performance. I'm using category 6 ethernet cable. This is the highest quality cable you can get. Cat even though this is a 100 megabit um, ethernet port and this battery is going dead. The laptop. Anyways category 5 I mean category 6 supports 10 like up to 10 gigabits per second and I'm using a 100 megabit controller anyways I'm plug it directly to the router which makes no difference if I plug it into the router or the cable modem modem over here doesn't really matter since that's only a hundred megabit router anyways watch this light turn orange because the battery's low nine percent remaining anyways Disable the Wi-Fi. See that? Disabled. And the lights on amber. And I still don't have the bottom put back on yet. I have all the wires disconnected. It works perfectly fine though, by the way. Disconnected. And the only internet access I'm getting is the um, Ethernet. Open it and you can see right there. It's connected to number three on my net here. This is a WNA 3500. Alright. Do a speed test. Whoops, not Internet Explorer. It's number three. Number four is my direct TV and number one is my voice over IP. This is like illegal right here. Connecting a adapter to an adapter. Anyways, begin test. It's going over Ethernet. I mean, it's even slower than the Wi Fi cards, a little bit. Just about equal due to my internet. There we go. Alright, now that all that's done and said, let's go ahead and unplug this car or disconnect it first. Alright, and I'm going to go to zoom this in. I'm going to go to start, computer, un uninstall change program. The reason why I can't use Camtasia any anymore is because um Sony Vegas uh somehow messed up my Camtasia and I had to install it uninstall it. All right, and go to Dell Wireless LAN Utility. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall it. Da, 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 da. My network icon down there is gone. Alright. 
zoom out a little bit and I'm gonna go to device manager to see if it's there or first of all see if Dell wireless Dell wireless is gone that's good now uh, D vice man open that go to networking and it's gone it's just my Marvel um, Ethernet so I didn't have to uninstall it like that but I guess I can and I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and install the Wi-Fi card oh no 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 I forgot to um I forgot to install the drivers first I'll be right back alright now that I got my computer restarted and Windows wanted to install my Wi-Fi drivers again I went ahead and stopped it from doing that alright so um open this tab and this tab I was gonna order this one but every single time that's why you have to read the reviews go to customer reviews choose the one star reviews and read it serious problems for my Dell Inspiron 1545 guess what laptop I have the Inspiron 1545 scroll down uh, identical problems as B Harris and this one was B Harris right here alright I also tried it with my Dell Inspiron 1545 scroll down um, that's actually it. And if people would quit being lazy and do some research, I found this. Like I said before on my rant, the Dell Inspiron 1545, as shitty as it is, as it is in that Wi-Fi card, that 6200, the 6200 series needs DDR3. You see that? That's why it freezes. So then that made me purchase the 5300 series, which is DDR2 and DDR3 compatible. And it's a Pintrin or pin, Pintrin core. It's a 45 nanometer process. That's how Intel named all, its, all, all of its products. I'm going to open up CPU-Z. And you'll see that this is a 45 nanometer processor. It's a Pentium dual core T4400. It's a pin, Pintrin or again, whatever and there we go now here's what you do you go to Google and Google your Wi-Fi card uh, 53 Intel Wi-Fi drivers and it's right there and then you go to this page right here ultimate in this is the one I got it's actually the half um see another thing about Dell they didn't put a full size PCIe damn they didn't put a full size mini PCIe slot in this laptop they put a half mini PCIe slot in this laptop that's retarded so you can't you have to buy the, the smaller and more expensive wireless cards instead of the long ones like that all right i'm going to go to tools and software and where is it download drive download drivers for 64 bit right there January 2012 and the Dell Wi-Fi card in my laptop last time I was updated was 2009 come on now that was before I even purchased a computer Dell's basically if it doesn't break don't fix it R and latest, latest. Uh, hold on just a second. What's the difference? Which file should I download? Oh, the pro set. The drivers are just the top one. The pro set is the bottom. I'll go ahead and download the pro set. And drivers. Accept and it starts and you can see me download pretty fast if it goes I'm using my net gear once again my Dell has been uninstalled it's going a little slower than it's supposed to be that's Intel's fault
and I'm gonna wait for this to finish all right now it's done and let's go ahead and go ahead and install it next let me just double check that the shitty Dell is uninstalled before I install, un install this it's always good to double check Marvel Microsoft Netgear alright it's uninstalled let's go ahead and install this software except next custom I like doing custom you can see what they're doing enterprise software toolkit I'll go ahead and this feature and all that stuff features will be installed uh, I don't know why not install it I mean There we go. Yep, and next. I already paid for it. Why not install all of it? <laughs> and I'll be done. I'll be back when this is done. and it's done uh... finished to exit and it says driver is not installed that's because the Dell is still in installed and the Dell happened to reinstall itself because thanks to that software now I have to uninstall it for the third time again uninstall yes now Netgear, Microsoft and Marvel now I can shut it down for good and take it apart 
and here's the laptop and I'm going to go ahead and take it, turn it around take the battery out and start installing it And here's the Wi Fi card. Right here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually have to take apart this whole thing. And another rant. They're not using name. Well, Nanya is kind of a name brand RAM, but it's. I don't know. It's not, it's not Samsung or anything, but it works, I guess. 4 gigs of RAM. I was going to upgrade it to 8 gigs, but but it's $120 for 8 gigs. While DDR3, it's only $40 for 8 gigs. That's ridiculous. That's because they're, they're not making DDR2 anymore. And Dell's stupid and did this. Then they made the 15, Inspiron 15R. It's even more stupid. Like, And then now it's on sale. wonder what they're doing. Core processors. Alright, so undo this antenna. This UFL can U.FL antenna. All right. See, they had Dell had plenty of room to make a full size mini PCIe, but instead they decided to go half. There's absolutely nothing under there. The whole motherboard is on this side of the laptop. This side is just a CD drive, uh, express card slot, and a USB cable that runs to the motherboard. It's stupid. They couldn't make a full-size express card slot. I don't know why. Ex full-size mini express card slot. And they only put one screw on here. I'm like a neat freak, and I like my things to be full. Whoops. Alright, take out this shitty Dell Wi-Fi. I think, I think, yeah, it is. It's made by Broadcom. I am right. See that? Broadcom. Yeah, it's called Dell 1397 or something Wi-Fi. And get my wireless N card, which I just dropped right here. And here it is. I can't remove these stupid blue stickers. It's retarded. You can see the underside of it, though. I'll be glad to peel off a sticker. It's made by Intel. You see the eye? I've had a few Intel SSDs took, take, taken them apart, and it still has that same eye right there. Made by Intel. Alright. Let's go ahead and install it in here. Fits perfectly. and screw it down Alright, and for the ribbon cables, I'll go ahead and connect them. Let's bring it closer. Damn. I don't know why I just did that. I really don't. 
so you can get a top view of it I guess now I'm gonna be I'm gonna be taking apart the LCD after I connect this Alright, 
another thing about Dell. I was going to order the Dell Inspiron 365 Bluetooth so it doesn't hog a USB port since it already does. Since since they already have a cable for it. I mean, come on. They have a cable for the Bluetooth, but they don't have the Bluetooth module installed. It's stupid. Come on, Dell. This cable costs like $20 on your website. Why aren't you going to go ahead and install the $15 Bluetooth module in this thing? I mean, come on. That's a waste. Alright. Now that I got those rubber tabs out of there, I'm going to undo the LCD. And take off the bezel. Now that I got all the screws out off the LCD, it's time to take off the bezel. It's an extremely flimsy piece of plastic. Uh oh, something just broke. It was probably a stupid piece of plastic. Oh well. Plastic tab. Damn. Stupid ass tripod. There we go.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get one of these antennas and undo it. Now these antennas are put together by uh, heat shrink, so I'm gonna have to cut it apart really carefully. Alright, now that I got these separated, I'm going to choose just a random one like the white one, so I can color code it. And take off this little plastic protective piece. And then, I'm going to do it in reverse. I'm going to wire this up so you can put it in there.
Alright, now before putting everything back, I'm going to go ahead and test it. Alright, now before putting everything back, I'm going to go ahead and test it. <clears throat> Should work flawlessly. This is how, how I have my antenna set up. Just duct taped. You can see the LED backlit LCD. It's shitty. Like I said, it's already made by AUO. And if you watch my disassembly video, I already took this apart, so I already know how it works or how to take it apart and put it back together. There's my antenna. And there's the stock antennas for the black and white. And this is how I did mine. Loopy, loopy, loopy. Put it down there. And it goes to the underside of the LCD or the chassis. Look how thin this bezel is for the LCD. See that? Why couldn't they just leave it like this? Why did they have to put this thick ass bezel on it to make it look like it's like a thick LCD? They could have made this a lot thinner. Match this. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up again. All I have to do is log off. It does this every now and then. Even if I don't do anything. It's because the hard drive is busy and all that. And it said it was unsuccessfully and did not install. Yet it had three Wi-Fi signals. Three SSIDs now. Which is a big improvement. I mean it's huge. And I thought my Netgear, I thought my Netgear wireless router was good. That one over there. Apparently not. See this? It's working. It always has to focus on black and white for it to do it. And there we go. And it said it did not successfully install. What is that? There's no external Wi-Fi card connected.
my my um wife actually has four bars now instead of five but at least there's an extra one that I can use this one I've never seen this one before and it's um public too and my battery's about to go dead so hopefully I can do this device manager just double check just to make sure my battery's gonna go dead in like two seconds so it has to hurry up networking and there it is info Wi-Fi link 5300 good now I'm gonna test out the software if the battery dies it dies and I'm in the video yep there we go let's check the speed It should be 144 megabits per second. There we go. I actually have it set to this. It's a 300 megabit compatible router, but I just don't want it to like go super super and waste super power. It's it's not like my Dell Inspiron. Um, it's not like my internet is that fast anyways. And my camera just went dead. That doesn't mean my flip has to. It's still recording audio, and there we go. Everything was a great success. I mean, it works out. Go to Google.com just to make sure. And do a quick speed test with this shitty flip, which has no focus. So I'm going to use this magnifying glass. It's like a macro mode for it. My laptop is so naked right now. Instead of studying for my nine weeks test, I'm doing this. After my nine weeks test, it's semester exams. After that, I graduate and get the hell out of this hell hole. Hell hole. Hole. Hate this fucking school. Pedal. <clears throat> there we go. At least it's over um, 18 megabits per second, which is like the limit for a uh, wireless G. It works now, all the way. Test it again. My internet's being a little bit slow today. Well, you get the point. It's better than 18. I mean, it's better than the shitty Wi-Fi. Now my Wi-Fi is faster than my Ethernet. That's stupid. Oh, well. Everything was a great success.